Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome back to another episode of Medieval Engineers. Uh, so as I was saying, I was going to do a little bit of work out off camera and uh, work on the wall a little bit. Let's run over here and uh, show you what I did. I actually pushed this wall back a little further. That way it's not so straight, gives us a little more room. Sort of works with the slope a little bit, and then if we go over here, and it'll probably be faster than fast travel, but I'll just run anyways, it's not that far sort of set up where I'm guessing where the main gate is going to be. It's going to be right at the fork in the road there. I've had a look around. There really is no other road. So this is going to be like basically our only entrance and exit. I didn't completely finish it. I just got the framing in at the very end here. And we're going to have a portocollis here right in the middle. Uh, I actually do have sticks on me. Let's finish this up while we can. Well, while I'm here, just give you an idea. And then what I'm thinking is it's going to be sort of like a uh, a double door sort of deal. You're going to have a portocollis here and probably another portocollis here. And it's just basically going to be like a reviewing area. Have like four guard towers around, you know. Just make sure the guy's legit before we let him in here. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, it was also, uh, we had a bit of an update. Uh, it was nothing minor. It was just a small little update. One of the things they did is they changed. Where is the house? There's the house. One of the things they changed is they changed the the visuals on the small table. So now you have um, that actually shows you what's in the small table now, which used to be the old crafting table. And for some reason, I can't get rid of that research table bench. I'm gonna probably have to smack it with an axe a little a little later. Uh, made a couple of chairs just. You know, for whatever, just for the purpose there. You can't actually use them, so that's kind of pointless. I uh, did a whole bunch of cooking, got a bunch of food on the table here. I like how it shows up like that. And then this is the, the small table. It has four slots, but only shows you two items. I had like a bunch of stuff in there and didn't work and whatnot. I got a few lights in here. Just get rid of, get, got rid of that uh, brazier because I kept knocking that thing over. But what I was planning on doing today is I think we were going to start laying out the castle a little bit. And I went and got a whole bunch of sticks off uh, just before I started recording. So I got got three chests full of sticks plus what's on me. I even have a chair just in case I get tired. I can sit down and have a bit of a break. So let us go up to our little usual lookout here. A fast travel. No, not there. I don't know what that what it would look like there. Let's go here anyways, at least we know we can see it, sort of, and you can see the lighting glitch. So as you can see, it used to come straight across down here, and I just moved it out a little bit, covered, up, made it a little more round, and then you got the main front gate here. Now, can't really see it, but I don't know if you can see right where the crosshairs are, there's a little lighting glitch, that's where those chests are. And I'm sort of thinking about having the castle probably right in this area here. Uh, sort of have an idea of what I'm going to do. It's not going to be just a square building. It's going to be, I guess, the only way I could describe it is more like a fort style looking. Sort of like what they have in the intro video. Uh, that lighting glitch is so weird. I don't know if that's my video card or what. But it's just so messed. And I wish you could sleep in the bed and make it day. The night just went away. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go camp out in the house and wait for the day to come. Uh, of course, I'm going to do a cut, and I'll bring you back, and we can start working on this when the sun comes up. So I'll be right back. All right, the sun has just come up. You can see the chests here. So I actually want to come down this way a little bit more to get centered. Then you can actually see the wall a little bit better. But anyways, let's head down. Uh, I'm actually surprised I haven't seen a barbarian in a while. Uh, let's see here. Yes, we'll fast travel here. Uh, that will do. So, now uh, where is that front gate? Front gate is right here. Uh, I think I actually want to start over here somewhere. It's going to be... It's going to be sort of like... Uh, mo a couple of different square sections put together. But anyways, let's uh, get this down and see where this wants to sit. Now the question is, do we actually keep it on the grid or do we have it offset a little bit? 
put there. I'd like to get actually get it lower. Oh, this will be okay. I'm like, do I have any stones on me? No, I don't. Let's go grab some stones quickly. I want to see how that's gonna look. Uh, I don't think I had stones in that one. Do 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 do. do. Definitely gonna get my exercise on this map. That's for sure. Unfortunately, fast traveling, I can't like get right here. Or I can't get like right there. Basically, all I can do is run. But I want to finish building this block and at least have a look at it from back there. You know, if there's gonna be steps going into it, that's fine. Not that big of a deal. Uh, might as well finish it. I'll probably stay here. Really? I didn't grab enough stones? Oh well. Let's head up the mountain quickly. Ha! I beat you. Okay, so that's where the block is that I placed. So it gives me an idea of how big this castle can be, or will be. So if that's one section there, then, you know, I don't really want it too big, because I want to have room for other people. So it's probably only going to be maybe like here. So probably... Start with a 6x6, six six and then go from there. Fast travel. No, let's uh, see where this takes us. No, that won't take us there. It might. No. Uh, here? Oh, that's outside. Uh, hmm. Tried there already, I think. Here? Oh, okay. That's how I get home. And maybe it's going to be that one then. Oh, I'm outside again. Uh, that's about as good as we're going to get. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, start laying some blocks. Excuse me. Anyway, uh, I want to see if I get this lower. See, that's you know, the problem is I don't want to snap. Hmm. Maybe we'll go back a little further. So I'd like to drop it down as low as I can. So I'll put it there. And I'll take this one out. Oh, that's not what I want. I want my hammer. Beat that thing. Okay. So in this way, when I start building out on this side, because of the way the ground's going, so it's three, four, five, six. And then that way it's easier to get up. Uh, let's get that out of my face and get rid of those lines. Okay, the entrance is there. Now maybe I'll go two on this side, three on the other. I got tons of sticks. That's what, that's what I, I went and uh, basically deforested a couple of areas. Won't be any trees growing there for a little while. Uh, like so. Oh, I can't get up there. Then maybe I want to do like a have like these wings coming off the side. Let's get this side in first. Okay. Oh. What? How many is that? That is. Four. Yeah, that should be good. Five and six. There we go. Now I just gotta get the rest of them in. Right, it's gonna take a lot of stone, but you know I have a small mountain I gotta. I want to get rid of. No, oh, I'm out of sticks. That's okay because I got a ton of them here. 
I got three chests basically full. I was prepared for this. The stone, on the other hand, yeah, that's gonna, gonna take some time. I got a long weekend coming up. I might have to spend a couple hours doing some quarrying off camera and just get like 50 chests full of stones somewhere, just fast travel there to get them. Anyway, uh, let's get back to these. We'll do that. And how many more do we need? Get two more rows. So and then it was four on this side. Three, four. Okay. Let's see what we have. So this will be like the the main hall here, and probably get a couple of levels out of this. Um the ceiling is going to be stone. I'm going to try to use those arch sections that I used uh, for the floor, the second floor on the last castle I was working on. I'm going to use that for the roof, so I'll just have pillars going straight up to the top. And all the internal floors are going to be the wood. I'm just going to, you know, go with it. Anyways, uh, how far do I want these out? Let's, let's get a couple more rows in, and then we'll go up and have a look at it and see how it looks. Okay, and now to the other side. And I'm trying to think of a way to work in like a really big tower into this. You know, I'd like to have something, maybe one of the corner towers will go way up. But before the sun goes down, I think I'm in the middle of winter or something because the days are short and the sun seems like I, the sun used to go down here, but now it's going down over here for some reason. I'm guessing it's because it's uh, winter or something. Uh, the seasons are apparently four days. So that's actually not that big. I think we can expand that a little bit. That's six. Maybe 10 by 10, or even 8 by 8 by 10. You know, let me switch that over to an 8 by 10. I don't know how well it's showing up. I can barely see it. I'm just going by like the texturing. I'm just going by the size of it, really. Whoa, it's not fall off. Like, Jesus, my house is almost a bit that, that big. Anyway, let me, uh, do a cut here and I'll resize it and I'll bring it back. And there it is. I uh, made it a little bit bigger. It's definitely a fair size. It's a little more of what I was expecting. Now, we can get a better view up here, I think. I went up here before so I can get the idea. So now my house doesn't look bigger than the castle. Uh, we might even be able to go a little bit bigger. You know, it's getting to the, it's already getting pretty big. Let's, let's go back down here. So we're going to come up, and this is going to be the front entrance to the castle. The uh, door is going to be, like, right here, so it's it's going to be pretty big. All right, and then I might partition it a little bit, just uh, try to get some multi-levelness going on the top. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, of course, I'm going to have to get rounded corners in here for towers and whatnot but it's what i'm thinking for now it looks pretty good still there's lots of room to get lots of different buildings going on try to get like we've been thinking about getting like a farmhouse going for sure since we got the farm there already we don't have any buildings there we've got stuff growing and also maybe bring the millstone over there have it next to the wheat field and then build a little shack out of you know, something like something like that, a little small thing. But anyway, I think uh, what I'm going to try to do for the next episode is uh, get some mining done off camera. I'll start taking all that out and have it set up as like a quarry setup because this is going to need a lot of stone. I don't know how many sticks it, I used, but each one of these is 10 sticks. Uh, we got a 8 by 10 plus the wings. 
That's a lot of sticks. It's gonna be a lot of stone too. Uh, I'm gonna have, definitely have, have a ch chest full of pickaxes. But anyways, I think we're gonna leave the episode here. I wanted to get a sort of a layout going here. Uh, we'll see if I can get this filled in before next episode too. But anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.